Anthony is in Trenton, New Jersey. Hi, Anthony. How are you? Well, good. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. How can we help? All right. So I'm a 23-year-old. Um, I live in New Jersey. Um, I have a 2011 Chevy Cruze. It's worth about two or three thousand dollars. I also have a 2003 Nissan 350Z, and I drive the Chevy Cruze. The 350Z was just kind of like a I got it for cheap. I just fixed it up, and uh, I'm trying to sell it right now. Um, I have an apartment. The rent is about $1,200 a month, but I uh, split it with my girlfriend, and I pay 900 She pays the rest. Um, I guess my question is, I'm, I'm looking to buy a new car. Um, the one I have is kind of giving me problems and stuff. So I'm looking to see maybe getting like a Toyota Tacoma or something like that. Um, but the only issue is the car is about $15,000 and I have 18,000 saved right now. And I'm just trying to see what you think. If you think I should pull the trigger on something that expensive or I should, what wait. do you make? Uh, 55,000, uh, gross pay. Okay. Well, a rule of thumb I use is not own things that have motors and or wheels added together that equal more than half your annual income. Cause they all go down in value. It doesn't sound right. like you're going to violate that. I'm a little confused as to why you have two cars. Um, well, the, so the, sometimes like I buy cars that are, like I, I used to work on cars, so I know a thing or two about them. Um, the Nissan was just a really good deal. And uh, so I just picked it up, fixed some issues with it, and I was planning on selling it. Okay. It just hasn't sold yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just sitting in my driveway. Okay, and so you'd sell the you'd sell the Chevy well, Cruze, and your daily driver would be the, the the Tacoma. Well, hold on a minute, Anthony. If you said you work on cars, why can't you fix the one you drive? I can, but the thing is, the work that it needs it okay. costs about, you know, it'd, it'd probably be around two thousand dollars. That's fix all a stinking car is worth. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you got the money. You don't want to be below your emergency fund of three to six months of expenses, and you're getting pretty close on that because you only got eighteen, and you're talking about spending fifteen, right? Right. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, I don't want to get below whatever three months of your expenses are. You don't want yeah. to get below that in the account after you buy the tr Tacoma. Well, and, and we sell the Chevy. We get rid of the Nissan Z mm -hmm. and then use some of the money out of savings and get a new to him car. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, but if, you may not get to know, the 15K You, you may one. not need the 15K out of pocket because you got the proceeds from the other two cars. Other two cars coming. Yeah, that yeah. may that may make up the difference in the emergency fund because the three k left in that emergency fund sounds shallow. Yeah, it does, Dave. Sounds Especially thin. living in Jersey, sounds thin. I mean, that's that's thin. So you know, let's just make sure you don't leave yourself vulnerable because of a stupid car. That's what it comes down to. So it might be a twelve thousand dollar car. You know, that, that might be what you're after. I don't know, but somewhere in there, and you're not over half your annual income invested in things with wheels mm -hmm. and motors, so you're cool there. You're paying cash, so yeah. you're cool there. So overall, the deal is good. Just don't ever get below your three to six months of expenses and emergencies because you're inviting trouble. That's right. And it's Anthony, like sending out a ticket. It is. And even if you've got to pick up gigs on the weekend of fixing other people's cars, that's a natural side hustle for you. You love cars. You have the skill and talent to be able to work on them. So, again, thinking outside the box. And you hold off two or three more months, and then maybe you can go get that other 15000 Yeah. That's yeah. That's exactly right. So, sacrifice. So you got to make sure you have a plan for that. We live in a car culture, and I love cars. I'm a car junkie. Um, so, I kind of enjoy the whole process of messing around with them and i enjoy having a nice one and all that kind of stuff not because i care what somebody else thinks i just like driving them yeah and uh but the thing is they go down in value so fast and it is the largest thing that everyone buys that goes down in value it goes the wrong way so you've just got to limit the damage that it does to your finances and that's why we say no more than half your annual income tied up in it well, even if you're paying cash and you drive really fast too well there's that